Hello there. <clears throat> it's me again. I thought I'd get outside, but I don't really want to drop around the snowshoes on in the long gra uh, snow. So I thought I'd sit here and I'd try out one of these things. So you get that? A big flame disc. And uh, I got it going here. It's kind of like a solid fuel, like a white fuel, like a uh, Espitab or Zip Lighter things. It's supposed to last 35 to 45 minutes. I'm going to cook up some bacon and some halloum cheese on it. And have a few pops. Maybe shoot the shit. So the bacon's on. I got them in some mustard sauce. Or some hot Russian mustard. Compliments of Vladimir. Thank you. And this is uh, not normal bacon, it's like slab bacon. It's actually the ends, bacon ends, when they're separate than our bacon, that's thicker and roughly shaped, and but it's cheap and it's just as good. And I got those at Riverview Market in Charlottetown. So I'm going to let those go first. Uh, it's good bacon, so you don't really have to uh, cook it to death. Which, uh, if you have a refutable butcher, you can do that with. Or make your own bacon. So, I guess Mr. Budweiser, Mr. Ann, how's your bush is calling? I originally had my snowsuit on, but it was too warm. Since then, that big jeezily cloud there came over and blocked out the sun. So this will go up before my uh, third installment in my Wino Wednesday. Third? Maybe, yeah. yeah. We got a little snow again yesterday and then some this morning, so... It's just about too much snow for me to drive in and out of, but uh, I don't know if my guy's going to be down to uh, blow it or not. I don't really care. i got nowhere to go. Well, tomorrow I'll have somewhere to go. I'll be at a beer. Bye. So it's, it's going. It's flaming. It's making some noise. Look at that. Getting those grill mark thingies and everything. Probably have to do a lot of shifting around here. Maybe if I put this straight in the middle, it'll be better. Oh, there's the sun. Well, this should be a good snack. They had tied me over for midnight or something when I have a craving again. <gasps> there's a little piece down there, Ben. I think you might like it. It'll be hot, though. There you go. I'll put it in the snow. Watch out. There, dig in the snow and get it. Don't burn your lips off. Don't say I didn't warn you either. Okay, that's for you. I'll bring you back once they're uh, almost done, I guess. I'm talking with the sun in behind me. First, this last about 15 minutes, maybe. Didn't get a lot of heat. But to be fair, both these discs are old, like two years old. Maybe they're not made to be uh, burnt uh, when it's this cold. But I brought it inside, to be fair, and get the wind out of it. And see now there's a uh, really good flame going there. So this one should probably cook up the rest of the goodies. Back in a bit. Well, that was a little out of control. <laughs> you can see it's putting out good flames now. Probably the use of bacon wasn't the smartest thing. I should have had something less volatile. But this one's working uh, a lot better than the other one. I think maybe there was just too much wind and it... It burned too fast with all that oxygen. That's well burned too. So, remains to be seen, I guess. Of course, it's cooked. How else could it not be? Cheese is pretty well done too. I guess the only thing about these is you can't turn them off. You just gotta let them uh, go through their thing. Oop, come on there. Okay. Oops, sorry. So, cheese first. If you're wondering why this cheese isn't melting, 
It's the nature of the cheese. It's halloum or halloumi. I think it's more uh, made in Cyprus. And uh, what the melting point of this stuff is, nobody knows. But it tastes pretty good. Nice and salty. That's why I didn't add any salt to anything here. Well, this one's going much longer. It could be uh, refueling itself from bacon fat. No. <laughs> Here's a piece of that cheese. You can see it, it's good to fry too. But it, it just doesn't seem to melt. It just gets warm and gooey. It's smoky on this little thing. And uh, it's really good. Not for you, for the camera. Wait a sec. Okay, I'll, I put this in a baggie with uh, hot sauce and a little port wine and some herbs. Aztec herbs, but any kind of things to do. Try that out. Of course, the bacon was in kind of cubes or chunks too, and I put some hot mustard in there and a little bit of port wine, just because the port wine was out. This one's working a lot longer. It's uh, It's been going now for 27 minutes, and I can still see some of the solid fuel in there. So to conclude, I would say the big flame disc uh, is okay. It has its limitations. Don't use it out in the wind. For one thing, it didn't seem to work very well at all there. And burnt up fast. So great in the sheltered area. And at least you're not cutting any wood or anything like that. Or maybe if you're in a place that doesn't allow uh, old uh, open flames or like a campfire, you could use this. Or if you're going for a quick night out to the beach, you know, an evening, you want to cook up some hot dogs and you know, burgers and something like that, it'd probably work pretty good for that. All that you have left at the end there is just the, the, the tin foil plate. So there's not a lot of waste. And you could probably burn the uh, outboard cardboard. So anyway, that was good. About half a pound of bacon and about... I don't know how much cheese, but there was six big blocks like this, I think. <laughs> You like cheese, Ben? Okay, that's it from here. This is the review of the Big Flame Test. Chris, out. Hey, Australia.